our farrowing pen with Sicily, who should be ready to farrow any time now. Yeah, it's hard to get videos of our sows because they're very friendly and they want to be right beside us. <laughs> Sicily. We don't know how many piglets she's carrying. Hmm. Let me scratch you. Come here. Are you going to come closer? I can't reach. Hey. <laughs> there we go. can see her milk line coming in. That's usually one of the most pertinent signs that a sow is going to farrow is when her milk line comes in. Now prior to this you could just see her little teats but they were just nipples not actually hanging like they are now. You can see her little belly there. Most people think that uh, pigs are just fat, um, but they're not. They're solid muscle, unless you overfeed them. And we try not to overfeed ourselves and our boar because they need to be uh, as healthy as possible to breed for us to provide piglets. <laughs> you're not making this easy, are you? Huh? You're not making this easy trying to videotape you. The other sign of impending uh, farrowing is their, their back end gets pretty floppy, which is uh, a little hard to tell in this video, but not everybody wants to look at a pig's patootie. <clears throat> but you can see it's a little swollen and and she's gearing up to go. She's actually due tomorrow. Um, but pigs tend to have their babies in the wee early morning hours. So we've given her a nice straw bed. Um, I might actually take a little bit of that out because she accidentally opened up an extra bale and too much straw, while you would think would keep them warm, actually has the opposite effect. It, um, it has a way of getting the piglets hidden or tangled, and then they can't get out of mama's way, especially if they're a little cool. And uh, it is January, so it's a little bit cool. We don't normally plan piglets for this time of year, but inevitably, at least one sow has her own ideas and goes to visit our boar when they're not allowed to. Right, Sicily? Yeah, isn't that right, Sicily? Yes, it is. Hey, you're a sweet girl, though. Yes, and hopefully you'll be a good mom. This will be Sicily's first litter, and uh, we have no idea what kind of mom she's going to be. She could be a terrible mom. She could be a fantastic mom. <laughs> she could be very protective or she could be really calm and allow us in. We don't know. We'll have to see. It's not unusual for sows to be very protective of their piglets. Um, it's a good thing. Um, although we do like it when they're calm and allow us to be in with them. And uh, over there, you can see we've set up a little creep. Um, this pen is sort of an awkward shape because it's not square in this corner, so we had to extend that a little bit. We've got a heat lamp in there to keep them warm, and and uh, we'll encourage them to go in there. 
when they're quite young so that they can stay warm when it's cool.